the Olympics, the pinnacle of international sports competition, have captivated audiences for over a century. But in recent decades, the games have undergone a transformation, evolving from a pure celebration of athletic prowess to a global media spectacle. This shift has been driven by a complex interplay of technological advancements, commercial interests, and the public's insatiable appetite for drama and emotion. In 1960, the Rome Olympics marked a turning point with the introduction of live television broadcasting. For the first time, viewers could experience the thrill of the games in real time, witnessing the triumphs and defeats of athletes as they unfolded. This technological leap fundamentally changed the relationship between the Olympics and its audience, creating a sense of immediacy and shared experience that had never existed before. As television technology advanced, so did the scale and sophistication of Olympic broadcasts. From the grainy black and white images of Rome to the high definition multi-camera extravaganzas of today, the media's ability to capture and convey the drama of the games has grown exponentially. With each passing Olympiad, the coverage has become more immersive, more emotive, and more all-encompassing. But this evolution has come at a cost, as the Olympics have become increasingly commercialized. Broadcasters, sponsors, and advertisers have recognized the immense potential of the games as a platform for reaching global audiences and have poured vast sums of money into securing rights and exposure. This influx of commercial interests has transformed the Olympics from a simple sporting event into a complex web of financial and strategic considerations. The impact of this commercialization can be seen in the way the games are packaged and presented to audiences. Broadcasters, under pressure to justify their hefty investments, have sought to maximize the dramatic and emotional impact of their coverage. They have focused on telling compelling stories, often centered around individual athletes or rivalries in order to draw viewers in and keep them engaged. This emphasis on storytelling has had a profound effect on the way we experience the Olympics. Instead of simply showcasing athletic feats, the media has increasingly focused on the human drama behind the performances. We are bombarded with tales of triumph over adversity, of underdogs defying the odds, and of bitter rivals facing off on the world stage. These narratives, carefully crafted and heavily promoted, have become the lens through which we view the games. When viewers feel emotionally invested in an athlete, they care more about their performance. A gymnast performing a near-perfect routine is impressive, but a gymnast overcoming a career-threatening injury to compete is inspiring. This emotional tether keeps viewers hooked and fosters a deeper engagement with the games. Take Noah Lyles, for instance. Known for his charismatic personality and engaging off-track presence, Lyles has become a prominent figure in athletics. His ability to share his personal stories and struggles adds a layer of drama that captivates audiences. Lyles frequently shares his journey through social media and interviews, giving fans an intimate look at his life beyond the track. I've been on and off uh, antidepressants and just dealing with depression and anxiety about all my life, but really a lot in these last two years. This openness about his mental health challenges, including his battle with anxiety and depression, has made him relatable and inspiring to many. Lyles' dramatic flair is evident in his performances and public appearances. Whether it's his unique fashion choices, his energetic celebrations after a race, or his heartfelt speeches, he consistently creates memorable moments that resonate with viewers. His authenticity and willingness to show vulnerability have endeared him to fans and significantly increased his media presence. Moreover, Lyles' role in promoting social issues, such as mental health awareness and racial equality, further enhances his appeal. He uses his platform to advocate for important causes, creating compelling narratives that extend beyond his athletic achievements. This multifaceted approach to his public persona not only boosts viewership, but also highlights the positive impact athletes can have off the field. Lyles is also featured in the Netflix documentary series Sprint, which provides an in-depth look at the lives of some of the world's top sprinters, including Shakari Richardson and Sharika Jackson. The series, produced by Box to Box Films, follows these athletes as they prepare for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. By showcasing their training, personal challenges, and competitive journeys, the series adds a dramatic narrative that attracts viewers and increases their emotional investment in the athletes. Since the release of Sprint, Lyles and his co-stars have seen significant increases in their social media followings, enhancing their public profiles and engagement with fans. 
Usain Bolt, with his dramatic performances and larger-than-life persona, transformed athletics. His charismatic celebrations, rivalries, and record-breaking feats significantly boosted the Olympic brand and viewership, making him a global icon. Bolt's exuberant personality and signature lightning bolt pose became synonymous with his dominance on the track, captivating millions of viewers worldwide. Bolt's journey to stardom was marked by memorable moments that combined athletic excellence with entertainment. His playful antics before races, such as dancing and interacting with fans, added a layer of drama that made his performances must-watch events. These elements not only showcased his confidence and unique character, but also helped in creating a narrative that fans could follow and engage with, enhancing the overall viewing experience. His rivalries with other top sprinters like Tyson Gay and Justin Gatlin further fueled the excitement and drama. These high-stakes competitions were framed as epic showdowns, drawing in audiences who were eager to witness the outcome of these clashes. Bolt's ability to rise to the occasion and deliver spectacular performances under pressure solidified his status as a legendary figure in sports. Bolt's influence extended beyond the track. His success and charismatic appeal made him a sought-after figure for endorsements and media appearances, further amplifying his reach and impact. His presence in various commercials and his role as a global ambassador for athletics brought significant attention to the sport and the Olympic Games. Michael Phelps' journey, marked by his record-breaking achievements and personal battles, has been a cornerstone of Olympic storytelling. His candid discussions about mental health and resilience have created a compelling narrative that draws viewers in and humanizes the sporting experience. Phelps's open conversation about his struggles with depression and anxiety has not only shed light on the mental health challenges faced by elite athletes, but has also inspired many who face similar issues. I'll say as a male athlete, you know, like I could tell something was off, um, but I think I saw it as a sign of weakness. And if I shared anything about it, then it would give my competitors an edge. Throughout his career, Phelps broke numerous records, becoming the most decorated Olympian of all time with 23 gold medals. These achievements, however, were often accompanied by intense personal battles, including periods of severe depression. Phelps has been very vocal about his mental health journey, emphasizing the importance of seeking help and raising awareness about the pressures athletes face. His willingness to share his vulnerabilities has made his story relatable and deeply impactful. But while these stories can be compelling, they can also be misleading. The pressure to create drama and emotion can lead to sensationalism, exaggeration, and even manipulation. Athletes' personal lives and struggles are often laid bare for public consumption, their triumphs and failures amplified for maximum impact. The result is a distorted version of reality, where the line between sport and spectacle becomes increasingly blurred. This blurring of lines has had serious consequences for the athletes themselves. The intense media scrutiny and pressure to perform can take a heavy toll on their mental and emotional well-being. In recent years, we have seen a growing number of high-profile athletes speak out about the challenges of competing under the glare of the global spotlight. The case of Simone Biles, the American gymnast who withdrew from several events at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics citing mental health concerns, is a stark illustration of this problem. I say um, put mental health first because if you don't, then you're not gonna enjoy your sport and you're not gonna succeed as much as you want to. So it's okay sometimes to even sit out the big competitions. Biles, widely regarded as one of the greatest gymnasts of all time, faced intense criticism and backlash for her decision to prioritize her own well being over the demands of competition. Her story is not unique. As the Olympics have become more commercialized, athletes have found themselves under ever greater pressure to deliver not just athletic excellence, but also compelling narratives and marketable personas. The result is a system that often prioritizes spectacle over sportsmanship, drama over integrity. But it doesn't have to be this way. As viewers, we have the power to shape the future of the Olympics by demanding a more balanced and responsible approach to coverage. We can call on broadcasters and sponsors to prioritize the well-being of athletes over the pursuit of ratings and profits. We can support initiatives that promote mental health and resilience in sport, and we can celebrate athletes who prioritize their own well-being over the pressures of competition. Ultimately, the transformation of the Olympics from sports to spectacle 
is a reflection of our own values and priorities as a society. The games have always been a mirror of the times, reflecting the hopes, fears, and aspirations of each generation. As we look to the future, we must ask ourselves what kind of Olympics we want to see. Do we want a celebration of pure athletic excellence or a carefully choreographed drama designed to keep us glued to our screens? Do we want to prioritize the well-being of athletes or the interests of broadcasters and sponsors? These are not easy questions, but they are ones we must grapple with if we hope to preserve the integrity and spirit of the Olympic Games for generations to come. The Olympics have the power to inspire and unite us like no other event on Earth. They remind us of the incredible feats that humans are capable of and the common bonds that tie us together across borders and cultures. But if we allow the spectacle to overshadow the sport, we risk losing sight of what makes the games truly great. It is up to all of us, athletes, fans, broadcasters, and sponsors alike, to ensure that the Olympics remain a celebration of the best in us, both on and off the field of play. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, then please consider subscribing. And if you want to see more like that, then head on over to the channel where you can find more deep dives into movies, media, and culture. Thanks.